Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Taurus for the month of March. It is a general reading, so uh, it will not resonate with each and every one of you who are watching. If this doesn't sound like your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there, and if not, then simply check back in the following week when I put out a new message for your sign. Okay, so let's begin. Now, this King of Pentacles is either you or it is, uh, or you're dealing with another earth sign or someone who has earth strongly in their chart. Now, um, this King of Coins is appearing three times in this reading. I have them in the central, I have them at the root, and I have them at the bottom of the deck over here. Okay, um, all right, I, ha I also have the queen now, so she's up and he's down. What we have here is some type of negotiation, agreement, reunion, uh, discussion, <clears throat> that uh, it was supposed to be like a new opportunity or a new possibility or you were looking at a new possibility with this person or them with you but it went bad it turned into a disaster it's like you 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 or they did not feel like uh, you were seeing eye to eye here So, at the root, he's in the reverse, and you are trying to shed the light on this, or were at the time, because we have the new possibility here in the past, but um, it's almost like somebody went into the meeting uh, for to look at a new possibility, but maybe we're already expecting a bad result um, because they go in very cautious thinking that possibly someone might be being dishonest and deceptive in some way hiding something uh, or that they were going to take advantage of them so they already may have prejudged without realizing it the outcome and um, emotionally may have even reacted to that and uh, it resulted actually in that <laughs> so trying to explain how it all could have occurred um, <clears throat> but anyway it ended in a disaster and uh, somebody and I feel it's him he didn't see it coming He, whoever this is, feels uh, tied to you, connected to you, uh, chained to you in some way uh, because of this card. You see, it's like you have the devil here behind you too and you're chained together. And it's like maybe somebody can't break that chain. Maybe it's like something that somebody uh, thinks about heavily. Um, they didn't want this or there's, there's, they didn't want this to end. Didn't see it coming. Weren't expecting that. So the Six of Swords in reverse is like a, it could be somebody's thoughts or fears that prevented something from moving forward because uh, the swords represent um, the mind. And although they were heading towards uh, moving a situation to calmer waters, they still carried all the memories 
um, on their back. And thus, it's why it didn't work. So, you know, they went in with this uh, preconceived notion of how everything was going to or could possibly work out, you know. Now, um, maybe this person might be thinking, well, maybe uh, it was or maybe I was a little unfair, possibly, um, or simply that things are just unfair. Um, because they're thinking of a new offer in the Ace of Cups or uh, stepping forward with uh, to express their feelings, perhaps about what happened back here. Somebody, it, it requires great strength to uh, not to do this, not to reach out. Great strength, you know. Although someone is not happy uh, with the options that are in front of them, they still, they still desire the cup they still desire the cup and it takes a lot just to hold back but uh what keeps them holding back okay because this is a card of holding back here not speaking up um because you know uh they're afraid you know at one time that relationship offered them comfort security love but they're afraid that because it, you know of all the cracks they're afraid uh, that they cannot go back there or that it would not offer them that anymore that things have changed that things are different somehow and it's like um they can't forget clearly with the this card here and again we have the demons appearing here in this tunnel they're in and they can't see a light or a way out of their situation they're they're stuck they're just stuck and maybe feeling depressed um <clears throat> here we have the cup and somebody's climbing up here into the cup and they're they're going through everything that's in that cup well that's kind of what this person <clears throat> excuse me losing my voice what this person is doing this is about uh with the avarice card in the reverse it's like a um giving or giving back or gives you something back so in this case it's what that relationship would give back to someone what would uh the return on this be you know and they're frightened you see we have that page of cups here which is a future thought or an idea something that they want to do which is reach out uh, to this person um i mean it's you know could be to speak up about their feelings could be to apologize for something it could be um you know just wanting to find a resolution here to this problem but they're they're afraid they're in the nine of swords energy yeah not the nine of swords excuse me the eight of swords energy they they they're not quite trusting in that situation trapped in fear and you know uh, it could be said that you know this is what the central issue is because we do have the card of fear right here on this so trapped in fear 
fear of reaching out to this person, not really happy uh, with their options because of their fears. Their fears keep them trapped. They, uh, the Eight of Swords says um, um, that you're bound and you're blindfolded, uh, but is it, you know, by force or by choice? Could be guilt, keeping somebody there. It just could be not seeing any way out. It could be that, you know... Uh, you feel someone is hiding things, being deceptive, which we saw earlier in this reading. So we have this page is re reappearing here with um, this three of coins in reverse. The three of coins in this deck, it's a card of saving. Okay. Um, so when it's reversed, it's like no longer holding back, uh, giving, releasing something, opening up or um, maybe opening up their feelings with this uh, Page of Cups because the, the Page of Cups is a, a card of uh, an offer of love, a profession of love, uh, speaking up about uh, one's feelings. It's emotional news that makes one happy. It's just that with the page, and you have it twice, the page is inconsistent. So it's one day uh, I do, and the next next day I don't. So, uh, and maybe that's what this is. Maybe uh, one day you want to reach out, and the next day you don't, or one minute you do, and the next minute you don't. You're like um, unsure the uh the empress here uh who is gimlar in this deck it, and she is in the reverse now with her it's um she when she's upright it's like a words um and strength that comes from the heart so in the reverse um perhaps it's cuz you're worried that um what that their words perhaps are not from the heart or uh, that they're that they are insincere or that there's no potential for growth or that you just don't have the strength to deal with it you walked away from this relationship you or them whoever this is in this energy now you wish to t to transform this relationship uh, to get a new beginning, we now have the Empress in the upright. So maybe you do find the strength and maybe it comes from the heart to take a risk, a leap of faith to try to transform the Eight of Cups energy. It is your wish. You have the star in the upright. You will be getting a wish. You will be getting news. communication there's communication here in the future with this person that you know it could be a lot of communication going back and forth i thank you for watching for liking and for sharing my videos and for subscribing also thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation many blessings to all of you